Hi, I'm Chris Day, and I'm here today with Buddy and Lila. <laughs> and today we're at Bushy Park in Surrey. It's quite interesting. It's got a lot of interesting animals and like deer. It's got its own species of gnat. It's got lakes and ponds. So we're going to have a wander around and see what we can find. So if Buddy will stop attacking me, let's go wander. That's yeah, so one of the things that's quite strange about around here is that you get a lot of these little green parakeets. Now, there's lots of rumours about where they actually came from, but there is a good chance that they came from Shepperton Studios, is what I'm told. I have been told by some people that they were released by friends and relatives of theirs, but the main majority of people have said Shepperton Studios. Something to do with a film called African Queen, and another one I've heard is that it was made uh, loose by Jimi Hendrix after one of his music videos was shot there. So we're going to carry on wandering about. We might actually get a decent photo. You can hear them. And up in the top of the sky, I can just by the top of the sky, I can see a bird of prey circling. It's like a... There's a kestrel. Quite amazing diversity of wildlife here. So we're going to carry on wandering about. Keep an eye out for some deer. We need to steer clear of the deer. I'm end up in trouble. I've seen some interesting videos of this place with people being chased up trees. So, let's carry on. And here we have this amazing looking old oak tree. The trunk is really quite large. Now, Bushy Park, as I understand it, was set up by Henry VIII as a place for him to come and hunt his deer after he, well, basically took Hampton Court Palace off of Cardinal Wolsey. And some of these oaks have been here probably since then. I mean, the size of this is quite incredible. Lila, buddy, go over near it. You can sniff it, let's so people can get an idea of how big it is. And they're tagged as well. There are acorns on the branches too, look. Just here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, some interesting sounds coming from in this tree. It sounds like a monkey. I wish I could see what it was. This is one of those parakeets, but I've never heard a noise like that before. Anyway, just down here, there's a little stream here. Now, it turns out, there goes the monkey bird again. Turns out that the streams and things were added by Charles I. He had a massive 19 kilometre canal put in that fed water down to the palace and down into here to supply water to the park. And there's a lot of bird life in this water as well. I mean, I've seen lots of ducks, more hens, geese, all sorts of things. There was a heron just pruning itself, preening itself quite happily by the car park when I came in. The noise you can hear in the background is uh, there's some park run on here this morning. Well, what a treat. Just off in the, uh, off there in the distance. I've had to zoom in quite a lot because I don't want to get anywhere near them because you don't know there could be a stag. But there's a load of young deer over there happily frolicking about, I suppose is the word. And the sounds of green parakeets. Very strange. So earlier you might have heard me mention that uh, Bushy Park has its own species of gnat. Well it turns out that uh, a unique species of gnat was actually discovered here and it was the only place in the country, the only place that had ever been seen before. So it's, it's called like a bushy eye something or other. I'll try and find it and if I do I'll, I'll, uh, I'll put a little caption up on the screen with a proper name. But uh, <laughs> yeah and they've recently found one in the south of France. So. There's no species of gnat that's getting out across the world. I guess it's always been there, it just got discovered here, didn't it? But still, interesting factoid for you. So just off in the distance, you can see a few more deer down by the water. And over my head here, oh god, it's just gone past again. It's actually making me shiver, I don't know why. You're not really bothered by bugs, but. There are some dragonflies doing a mating dance. Oh, there you go. Oh, it's gone again. 
They're right over my head. They're literally joined at the backside. Oh, there you go. I'm really quite impressed by the amount of wildlife here. So I've come around and gotten a little closer. I'm not going to get any closer than this. I can zoom in from here. I mean, it's a little blurry. You should hopefully focus in in a minute. But deer are uh, quite amazing. There's even a white one in there, silvery white one. And they're just heading down into the water here, having themselves a drink. Very impressed with the wildlife here. So far, I've seen so much. So, after a rather interesting jogging session, getting away from an angry stag that crept up on us, we've arrived at the safety of the Diana Fountain, which is in the middle of a very busy roundabout. <laughs> so, there's no deer here and they can't be getting them here at the moment, not necessarily that angry. So, yeah, they've got the Diana statue here. The fountain's come off of it. I don't really know too much about it actually. Um, it's obviously a couple of hundred years old and the waterfowl are loving it. We've got some Canadian geese here and there's a swan there and just over here there's some gulls with some more Canadian geese. Okay so that takes us in of our wonderful stay. I hope you like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. I hope you might even want to come out and visit Bushy Park, check it out. Bring your camera, don't bring your dog if you want to see deer. It's easy to run away from them without a dog. So, from me, Chris, Lila and Buddy, we are the Hairy Wanderers. We'll see you again soon. Bye 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 bye.